Good evening, everyone. Uh, please just give us two minutes to to have some few students online. I will be starting in the next two minutes. Good evening, those that are joining. Good evening. Good evening. We'll soon start in the next in the next 60 seconds. We'll start up in 60 seconds. I just want to have some few students on board. So if you are online, just try to drop good that good evening and try to like. There's a thumb up like, just like, like the page and drop drop a greeting so that i will know that you're on board thank you for thumping up for that just thump up we're gonna start in the next 30 seconds we're gonna start up and if anybody can help us to just copy the link down to the class page on whatsapp we need to be better for other people to get connected Okay, I think I'm good to go. I think I'm good to go now. Good evening, everyone. 
good evening everyone good evening those that are online with us those that are watching us from youtube those that are watching us from the facebook also please if you're watching this video help us to like just pump, pump up just like help us to like help us to like the video and drop comment also for any improvement or any question you're having and in the course of this teaching is a live video you can if you have any issue or problem you can be able to call just call on 620-586-038 if we, i repeat if you have an issue with any question or any testing exam or whatever we're going to teach tonight you can call on 620-586-038 for you to for us to answer you so clear so tonight we are going to treat some few likely questions that are sure in exam what we are doing tonight is to explain those questions for you to understand how they are so the question i'm going to teach tonight are those questions that we treated in the class for our exam test because we had exam test yesterday and uh, most of the students they have issues with some questions maybe because of the way it's being constructed or because they are not used to that topic so now i'm going to teach those question i'm going to explain those questions why the answer is like that and i'm going to explain deeply in theory so that the purpose of me explaining deep is is just so that when you encounter that same question in exam you will be able to solve the problem once and for all but when you cram to exam it will not help you don't cram what you just need to do is to understand the basic rules of it because the exam in Spain is very easy when you have right materials that tallies to the exam and you have someone who can be able to explain for you because in the course of the teaching we have laws that are general laws and exceptional cases so if you are not intelligent enough you might mix general law with exceptional cases uh, driving in Nigeria or driving in Africa does not give you priority over people that has not driven before because what we are doing over there sometimes is moving a car there's different between moving a car and driving a car and in most of my teaching like this i always encourage most of our people that look don't join the exam practices don't give people money to go and do exam for you it's something you can do it's just a matter of doing time out everybody is busy one way or the other but what i need to tell you is you just have to give time it does not matter that is why our class is not because someone passed in a month you have to pass in a month you can be as long as possible to when you see yourself being available to go and do the exam but what i do is that when we finish teaching we start we start again so and we get the material down to you if you want only our material good my house we can always send the material to you for you to have and on youtube you have most of our video that we 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 do we do we do put him or put up for students like this so if you watch them please help us to like it share it help us to comment and 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 we are not here just to to do we are here to at least assist as much people as possible that is why we come on live uh a, a free a free media media space like this so today tonight i'm going to teach i'm going to teach some few don't know some few uh, questions and those questions will take me to some theory that consigns them for you to have a clear picture of what we are doing so how did you make the exam easy you make it easy by giving yourself studies by studying the right material by doing more tests and when you are a counter you have wrong a counter with the test you all you just need to do is that call the attention of your teacher pose the question and let's get it easy for you we make it easy if you have any issue you can call on 620-586-038 in this lecture because it's live if after taking some tests if you have any question you want to ask you can call in or you drop it on the comment section your question and i'm here to solve it for you so now what i'm going to do now is that the question we did in our exam test yesterday i'm going to try to take it as fast as possible from number one Number one question, if you look at the question, number one question says, when it rains, it is important to. When it rains, the first thing you have to check is your brake. When you're driving during raining period, you must always check your brake. This question comes in the exam. All the static questions you did yesterday in the class, 
I just the right question. Everything comes in exam. So that is why I'm taking time to explain to you. Please, if you are joining us, help us to thump up to like the video. Help us to like the video. Just, just watch us, encourage us by liking the video, encourage us by dropping comments on YouTube. And I I, I, I send the link on Facebook also. Uh, you can share it with your friends if you have friends that wants to wants to ask questions or wants to know some things about driving school. You can you can you can just share with us. We take the lectures in English. Just take it as a free, this is a free class. So take it, it can help us to share it with as many people as possible or call the attention of people. Share it on your other platform also. So the question number one, which is it is important to check your break first. Check your break because when you have wet break, the efficiency of that braking system will not even be there. You might lose control and you will not have a proper grip to stop the vehicle. Question number two says, among other effects, alcohol produces. The effect of alcohol, remember that the effect of alcohol is that in this objective, the first one say it has a positive, a positive effect on driving. No. The second one say it causes reduction in virtual field. That is it. It will reduce your visual field. You will not be able to have a clear picture of the, sur of the surroundings when you are driving. So you have to understand that visual field is your ability to see far when driving. And I told you that there are two important systems in the body which has to go with the driving ability, which is the, your seeing ability and your hearing ability. So if you don't have a proper hearing and you can't see very well, it will affect your driving. Remember that. Number three question here. Number three question says, you are at an intersection with no priority sign. Which vehicle should you do? Which vehicle should you do? You know, you get to a junction where there's no priority sign. Which vehicle should you do? Any vehicle coming from the right has the right of way, according to law. When you get to a junction, the question says, a junction with no priority sign. That means there's no sign at all. Remember that we have sign, five signs. The police, the circumstantial traffic sign or warning light. The traffic light which are circular the vertical sign and we have the road markings so if those five signs are not available on the roadway what you do is that you give right of way to the person coming from the other vehicle coming from the right side before you go number four number four say what is the speed limit for a truck of under 3500 mam on a dual carriageway on a dual carriageway on the dual carriageway, any truck that is under, it's all, since it's a lorry, the truck under 3,500, that maximum speed on a motorway is 90 km per hour. Because for a private car, a motorcycle is 120. For derived vehicle, camping van, buses are 100, which is the second group, which I always teach in the class. And the third group falls this kind of truck, which is 90. And you know, the same group falls the car towing a light trailer. Number five, can a passenger in this passenger car travel without fastening the seat belts? No. If you are in any vehicle, whether passenger car or private car, you must always be with your seat belt fastened, whether in the built up area or outside the built up area. The only area where you are given preference not to put on seat belts is just two. One, when you are reversing, you can remove your seat belt. Or when you are doing parking, you can remove your seat belt. So there are two areas where you can do without parking, without seat belt. Number six, in particularly serious circumstances, can injured person be moved in a car? Yes, if there's no other means of transport. If there's no other means of control, it can be moved in a car. It can be moved in a car, but it has to be on a recovery position, depending on the situation of things. Number seven, on which side does the mirror of a motorcycle need to be if there is only one? If there's only one mirror, whether motorcycle or anything, any vehicle drill with, the mirror has to always be on the left. The most compulsory mirror must always be on the left. So if the motorcycle runs less than 100 km per hour, you must have one mirror on the left side. But if the motorcycle runs over 100 km per hour, the motorcycle must have two mirrors, both left and right. Number eight question says, what does this sign mean? The sign, what does the sign mean? The sign we are talking about is this. 
This is the sign we're talking about. This sign. What does this sign mean? Look at the sign. This sign means no parking. But no parking on a white panel. No parking on a white panel. So since it's on a white panel, it's telling you a limited parking zone. A limited parking zone. That is an area where you have limited number of vehicles that can park in there. For example, when we're talking about limited parking zone, we're talking about an area you get to a shopping mall or a parking slot where 20 people are supposed to park there. So when 20 vehicles enter, no chance to park again until when one leaves before. You can fill in the gap. Number nine, a traffic light with a yellow flashing light is located at an intersection. What do you have to do? What you have to do is, since it's flashing at the junction, you proceed with caution. It's different from when it's not flashing. When it's not flashing, that changes from green to yellow. That one, you stop like a red light. But when it's flashing, you go with caution. Please, I told us to help us to thumb up, help us to like the video, help us to just like the video if you're watching and drop comments. Let's know those that are online and you can call in. Remember that this lecture, prepare your question. You can call in to ask questions or you drop it on the comment box on 620-586-038. And I told us, let's share it because I shared this video on WhatsApp on, on the on the Facebook already. You can also share it for people to benefit from this video. And if you're watching this video and you feel like joining us as a student, or you feel like buying material for us, you can call me on 620-586-038. 620-586-038. Good. Number 10 question says, what is indicated by the fact that the segment of this broken line is closer? The broken line is closer. When the broken line of the judge of the road is closer, this broken line is closer, what you need to do? to know here is that when you're having a broken line closer means that there's going to be a continuous line ahead or there's going to be present of a dangerous section of road ahead so anyhow the two is the question in the exam there's going to be a continuous because the closing the broken line wants to cl get close and so it's going to form a solid line why does the solid line comes on board because there's a present of danger ahead it might be a section of danger of road number 11 Number 11 say, may, may taking medicine increase driving reaction, distraction? When you're taking medicine, yes, it can distract you. It can make you to lose concentration. Capacity will decrease. So you have to understand that taking of drug, medicine is part of drug. So it affects your driving ability and your capacity, which we're talking about. So number 12. Number 12 say, which vehicle have the obligation to travel through this road with this sign? The road with the sign. Look at the sign we're talking about here. Here's the sign. There's the sign. There's the sign. The sign. Circular blue with a motorcycle inside it. Circular blue with a motorcycle in it. So it means that motorcycle without a sidecar. Motorcycle without a sidecar. It's just a plain motorcycle. That obligation for motorcycle. Now, a sidecar. It can be found in it in our in our book, in our book manual, which we we use, we, which we used to explain in the class. You can also because sign is part of the topic we're going to take this coming week, and it's going to run throughout the week for proper explanation, which in which we have to be attentive and understand what sign is all about. Now, number 13 question says, What does this sign mean? What does this sign mean? What does the sign mean? If you look at the sign. The sign we are talking about is this. This is the sign we are talking about. What does the sign mean? Circular red with two arrows. One going and one coming. This is found on a narrow section of road. And it's telling you that you must give priority to the vehicle coming from the other side of the road. Because the other side of the road will be faced with square blue. With two arrows also. Blue and red. So this one, when you're faced with this, means that you have to you have to wait and make sure that other people that are coming from the other side they have priority to move first over you number 14 question says please can can you hear me if you can hear me very well loud clear just write yes just write yes or i can hear you so that uh, uh because so that i will know that you are hearing me just let's, let's, let two people just confirm you you can hear me yes yes Yes, and if you're watching, please help us like the video. 
Thank you very much for saying yes. Another person should confirm. Now, number 14 question says, when it rains, do you have to pay special attention to any part of the road in particular? Yes. When it's raining. <coughs> when it's raining, you have to take, you have to pay attention. Like, you know, in Africa where we have potholes, when you when it's raining, you pay attention on all areas where you have potholes, where you have deeps, stone, or water pebbles. So you have to be very careful on those areas because when you when you just fall into it, can affect your tire, can affect your balancing, can affect your alignment, and can affect your driving or punch out your tire. So you have to watch very well in those areas. Number 15 says, on feeling fatigue when driving, remember that. Remember that you are fatigued. What is fatigue? Fatigue is tiredness. When you're under the stress of fatigue, go and rest. Don't continue driving because sleep can come up anytime. When you're fatigued, sleep can come up anytime. Anytime. And when sleep comes up, two seconds sleep can, can invite an accident. Number 16. It is, as a general rule, prohibited to drive a vehicle with an alcohol count above above general law this question is asking about general law the general law of alcohol count is this you must not go beyond 0.25 milligram per liter in the breath 0.5 gram per liter in the blood so general because the question is asking generally it's not saying whether you are driving a lorry or you're a new driver if you say you are new if you are it's asking about a new driver that is 0.15 in the breath 0.3 gram per liter in the blood mm. number 17 number 17 say in bend or low visibility elevation change it is prohibited to in any low visibility reduce visibility bend it is you can make a u-turn you can overtake just know that you can make a u-turn and you can overtake you can do that so Number 18 say accidents involving cyclists are most frequent on they are most frequent not on the dual carriageway or motorway because bicycle and bicycle cannot be found on that highway motor autopista and motorway. So the only place where bicycle can be found where the accident is more severe is a conventional road because conventional road permits them to, to be used. So that is conventional road. Number 19. What is the maximum alcohol rate permitted for a bus driver? Remember, a bus driver is a professional driver. So a professional driver has the same grade like a new driver, even though if he has been driving for years, because they are driving a vehicle that is big in dimension and that is somehow fragile when driving. So they have 0.15 milligram per liter in the breath, 0.3 gram per liter in the blood, because they are professional drivers. Number 20, what should you do if you have to slow down considerably because of traffic condition? You make sure that you perform it safely and you signal it. If possible, you just reduce speed by just applying your brake so that the red brake light behind will be showing you to tell someone who is coming behind that you are planning to reduce speed. So you have to understand that. If you are watching us, please help us to like the video, help us to turn up, turn, turn up, thumb up and share the video to as many platforms as you. And if you're watching this video and you want to be a student, you can call us on 620-586-038. Or if you want to get our materials that tallies to the exam, please, you can call us on the same number. Good. Number 21 says, an automobile is a motor vehicle, which is normally used. The purpose of it is it's used to transport and it's used to carry load which is merchandise which is for both things and it can be used at the same time for that those both things that is it so number 22 says this sign indicates this sign indicates the sign look at the sign this is the sign i'm talking about square blue with arrow telling you obligation obligating you to travel on this direction 
telling you, you must travel in the way. This traveling, this arrow is showing. The arrow is not showing to the left. It's not showing to the right. It's just showing straight. So it obligates everyone to go direction straight direction. Number 23. What does this sign mean? What does this sign mean? If you look at the sign, the sign is a triangle red with a bicycle rider in it. Triangle red means danger. So danger due to what is inside the triangle. So danger due to cyclists, which means danger of a cyclist zone. Number 24. To avoid sleepiness while driving, you need to sleep. You need to sleep enough hours. You have to sleep enough hours. You'll sleep few hours. You have to sleep enough hours so that you can get yourself and, and be okay. Number two, number 25. Can this passenger car continue to go straight? Continue to go straight. Look at it. Continue to go straight. That's it. And there's a red light and there's a green light arrow on the right side. Going straight, no. It can go straight, no, because the traffic light is red. It can only go by giving priority to the junction to the right. The vehicle in the image wants to turn to the right. Is it required to stop? Wants to turn to the right. Is it required to stop? Look at it. Look at it. This wants to turn to the right. Is it required to stop? Yes, because there's a red light across the road. So that red light is telling you in that junction, you don't have preference. You don't have priority. But when you are entering the junction, you have to watch before you enter. So the red light shows that you don't have, you can go into the junction. Number 27, the red car is going to turn left. Can you travel on the hard shoulder to overtake the right vehicle? This is the right vehicle they are talking about, the red vehicle they are talking about. And I said this vehicle wants to turn, wants to turn right. So can you overtake on the hard shoulder? No. Hard shoulder is not permitted for overtaking. No. Because it is forbidden to travel on the hard shoulder. It is forbidden. In our topic in chapter one, we explain those vehicles that are permitted to use the hard shoulder when it's transit stable, spacious enough to be used. Number 28, the sign on the road indicates, the sign on the road indicates, look at the sign, the sign on the road. The road 50 with the white on the, on the lane, is telling you the maximum speed on that lane or on that road when the center line is broken. When it's not broken, it's restricted to a lane. But when it's broken, it controls the other lane. So which means all the roadway together must obey that 50 km per hour. Number 29 question says, a vehicle must have clearance lights on it if it is if it is 210 height any vehicle that is more than 210 height must have what we call the clearance light what is this clearance light this is like if you look at the autobus the buses we enter here all those green bus blue bus red bus you enter in your area if you look at the hub where they have the number of the bus or the place where the bus is going you will see two white lights at the front. If you go and look at the back, on top, again, you will see two red lights. That is called the clearance light. Any vehicle that is 2.10 meters wide must have that, uh, that light, which is called the clearance light. Number 30, which is the last question on the test we did yesterday, the exam we did yesterday. That's an exam assessment we did in the class. At the intersection without sign, the vehicle with the light right of way is the one in in on in a roundabout. Any vehicle in a roundabout has the right of way. 
any vehicle in the roundabout as a right of foot since there's no sign there. So that is why the answer is the one in the roundabout has right of way over the person emerging in the roundabout. So that is the old 30 test we did yesterday. Anytime we give tests in the class, it is very important. If you're not clear with it, screenshot and send it back to the teacher for me to explain. You're paying me, so I must do my service. And you don't know the question that will come for you in the exam. So that is why when you encounter anyone that you need explanation, screenshot them and send them back to the class. So if you're watching this video anyhow, you can call us on 620-586 for more information. You can also get our material, buy our materials and without even joining our school. And we are proud of our materials and we are proud of the of the opportunity we give to you conveniently to pass the exam at your convene, at your at, at no stress. You can sit down in your house and even follow us up on lecture. We have lectures three times a week and we give some tests to validate what we're teaching. And like two, two weeks, we plan exam, like what we did yesterday, what we are treating now is an exam assessment to just test you, to just check you how you can be able to to encounter what you can encounter in exam and how it is being placed so it is important for you to embrace it you must is very important it's very important i told people don't go and pay someone to do exam for you if you are caught bye bye to your document this is not the season to try spain this is the season to be careful of them having issue with you and your documents because they are like a tiger that is watching. Don't go and put your hand in the mouth. If you're not ready for driver's license, sit down. Just be entering your bus, or you call your Uber, or you enter your tram. Thank God for Madrid with connected transport system. Connected transport system. So you don't have problem with that. So, but if you're ready for it, you can do it in three weeks. You can do it in one month. Our program in the class is five weeks, and we'll finish five weeks. We start again. So. If you're interested, you can join us on. Just call the number. Join us. We explain to you how it goes. And we have easy way of even payments, which can even be convenient for you to join us as a student. So now the floor is open for every student online. If you're online on Facebook or Instagram, you're watching us or you're watching us from the YouTube live, you can drop your question or you call in on 620-586-038. So you can drop your question we have. We have 20 minutes to take questions from different angles or you need, you know, somebody has been to exam before and told you some theory that are not even existing and you want to ask questions, please be feel free to call us on 620-586-038 whether on WhatsApp or, or on, a, on a direct call or you drop your question direct on, on the platform here for me to 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 answer so if you hear i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting for house to drop question if you're there drop your question let's drop your question drop your question if you or you call on six two zero five eight six zero three eight so we're here i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here we have some some few minutes 19 minutes to go so if you have you see our class page if a student drop any question it will link reminder the link to this the link to this the link to this the link to this go. okay okay thank you very much sister so if you're joining us let's 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 have your question if you if you have question to ask, if you have question to ask, if you don't have question, if you have question to ask, and I will bet most of my students don't get scared. Don't get scared. If you don't give it a try, you won't understand how it is. You won't understand the capacity of knowledge you've acquired. Give it a try. Give it a try. After August, many students are going for exam. I saw some students even taking sick. So that teacher have taken this appointment for September, early September. So you can join them. Join them, just give a try. Give a try, give a try, give a try. Because you won't understand until, until you just 
want to go for it. I want to go for it. So go for it and and I'm sure you get it. So any question, any question, any question, any question from anyone, any question from anyone, any question, any question, any question, any question. Remember that in the class this coming week, I'm going to teach sign. I'm going to teach sign. I'm going to explain what the sign is all about and how you can be able to interpret the sign. And I realize one other thing that most students, they have error in this reaction time, breaking distance and the stopping distance and the reaction distance. The reaction time, reacting, that is the time you react. That is the time you remove your leg from the turtle to put it on top of brake without pressing the brake. It's called you react. That is the time you react. It's called reaction time. During that reaction time, the car is still moving. <coughs> you cover a distance. So the distance you cover during the reaction time is called the reaction distance. And what is breaking distance? As the name implies, breaking. From the moment you start to apply the brake until the car stop, it's called the breaking distance. The distance you cover within from the moment you start to press the brake until the car stop. And what is stopping distance? Stopping distance is just the reaction distance plus the breaking distance together make the stopping distance, which is from the from the moment you perceive an obstacle, you remove your leg from your torso to put on brake, and you start applying the brake onto the car stop. It's called the total or overall stopping distance. So any question from anyone? Any question, any question, any question from the class? Any question? Okay, if there's no question, we will need to just call it a B. We need to call it a day. We need to call it a day. So, if there's no question, uh, I appreciate those that are online with us today. And if you're my student and you have question, you can come on board on the platform to drop your question. So, this is just a YouTube channel because it's been long. We'll come on YouTube just to let people know that yes, we are still on board and our class is going. Our class is going and it's more convenient now. You can be in your house and do the exam and make it easy and fast. So why don't you go for heat? You don't need to go out and stress yourself. Just call us. We can post the material to your block, you hope somewhere to give you your material. Even student outside the Spain, outside the country, we can send your material to you. What you just need to do is that you come down when you want to do the exam, pick appointment for you. You come down on your exam day and you do the exam and you get a pass. It is possible. People are doing it. It is possible. We make it possible. If you don't give it a try, you won't know. It is possible. So thank you very much for those that joined us today. I am available to serve and I'm available to make things real. So thank you for coming on board and we'll see some more time again. So next time we'll come on board like this. God bless you. The teaching is very clear. I don't have any question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I just quickly look at it because I need to. I don't want to carry anything over. So thank you very much for, for that for that message so we'll see some other time and my students let's go back to the inner room just the inner class for us to have anything you need to ask or any question you need to drop god bless you god bless you i really appreciate those that are patronizing and god bless you god will enrich you so much thank you for believing in us thank you for making it real god bless you i love you so much and i remain steve madrid